Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andre and today we're going to start a new vlog series about game dev and how to make games basically or something like that this is going to be a pretty small project and like every project i started and never finished hopefully this is going to be finished and yes we're going to see the first part of this this started as a simple project because you know making tutorials making a few videos that never were published because you know I never publish things but yes now I'm going to explain you what is going to be the game like it's a pretty simple project and I'm learning and you learn probably something so the location may change so let's start let's start yeah like Pokemon you know Ash we're going to put our cap like that and this is going to be a little puzzle game you know the main objective is to get a ball to the portal so basically we have this ball it is shown by something it's going to be created you know it's going to be a slime bro because because i have already the assets ready i made them a few years ago and this ball is going to have some physics so it's going to be bouncy and we have some blocks in the scene in our level these blocks are going to be slidable we can move them we can drag uh, to a certain position and we move them in order to get this ball uh, to a portal or more portals i don't know for the moment i'm thinking two different puzzles to make the game we're going to use Godot engine i'm learning Godot, and i think the best idea to to learn a game engine is by making games so basically i'm going to use that and we're going to see now our project in Godot engine so basically here's my scene here my final project for the moment so basically we're going to see what is going to happen i have some sounds as well so basically i can move these sliders you know and this is going to be rotating i don't have yet a, a portal but uh, you know it's still work in progress now we're going to see how i made all this thing and kind of step by step uh, hopefully i'm going to go a little bit fast okay guys this is going to be a little bit long so i put it a background because i need a background and added a note g it's going to be kind of a container for all the moving block thing I add a position to D and that is going to be called position A and position B and this is important because thanks to these two position I'm going to uh, set the length of the slider and uh, I add a static body and this is going to be the real block that is going to collide with with the balls and add some sprites and you may have this problem here that your to do sprite is a little bit blurry and you have to import it without the filter last but not least just activate hdb uh, um, it, it is going to be crisp to, it's going to make your graphics neat in the in the game as well and now i started adding some sprites to the position a and position b and this is going to be actually some background thing of the slider that is going to create the background of the slider and uh, you, like you can see the heart are just two parts of a block and i put a line there since this is going to be just a, a pixel uh, if you stretch this line it's going to be like you can see it's going to form this background i approach it this way i know that you can make that with tiles as well but as well but since i i need to be this more dynamic and um, change according to the distance between the two one the position a and position b and i need that that way um i add some variables on the script of the block container i have a drug ready and mouse click index that is going to be important in the second part of this video in the second block because in this block i'm not going to uh, approach that that thing there and inside the 
the real block, the steady body, I just use the mouse entered to set uh, signal, to set the drag ready, uh, to set it true and to set it false. Thanks to that I can check if uh, the click is occurring inside the, it's, it's inside the, the block so that way I can start the drag and um, that way I can change the position to the logo mouse like you see here and it moves and it's in, it follows the mouse while clicking and being inside the, the block. Now next thing I'm going to use max and min to get um, to clamp the position you can move your um, your uh, your block you, your slider let's put it this way so basically um, here I wrote um, that I'm going to get the, the bigger value all the that I get from the mouse uh, comparing the mouse and the position A position I'm going to get the bigger value so basically if the mouse is lower than the position A it's going to be uh, position A it's going to give us the position A so that way I, I clamped that X moving that X and now I'm going to get the minimum position if I uh, I check if the position that I got previously and position B I know that the, this talking this way is a little bit confusing but it works this way and it works pretty well so basically here I have my block that is clamped to that it can move only between position A and position B now inside the ready function I need to to make you know some background thing I'm going to stretch that line and right here I'm commenting my code but you know I'm not that good in commenting my code and uh, I tend to not do that but I know it's my my kind of my my leak um, no not leak uh, it's kind of my fault my and here here we are so I refer here to the background line to stretch and scale it in the X um, the X scale is going to be position P minus position A uh, since it is going to be just one pixel it, it um, each um, each value that I put is just one pixel so basically if I scale it to two it's going to be two pixels and so on and if you scale it it works but basically starts from the center and, and it's not stretching the proper way so you need to to, to translate it a little bit, to move it uh, on the X position a little bit in order to, to fit. So it is going to be moved on the X position, um, the same distance but divided by two. And here we are. So if I move this, um, now if I move the position B, make it, uh, put it uh, far from, further from, from the position A, it automatically clamps my uh, moving my sliding block to that distance between those two and it works pretty well if I rotate those two as well and that's pretty nice actually because that way I can, I can have diagonal moving so it gives, allows me to, to make new puzzles and and in a in a different way that aren't only um, the ones that you can think with um, you know vertical and horizontal horizontal ho horizon horizontal um, sliders. So basically, I need a ball. Uh, I need another position to T in order to to create the ball on that position. And I created a function called create ball for the variable and instantiate this 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 ball here. And uh, with the with the timer, I create that the ball uh, according to the timer. So basically, here I had some problems because I kind of you know um, made the 
the widget body bigger and that wasn't a good idea because uh, it doesn't recognize that so basically you need to change the the size of your um, sprites and collision and shape not the entire thing and once that was done it was started working well but i had some issues with the mass and the gravity scale because i was working only on mass and you need to actually change the gravity scale in order to to make uh, it fall faster so i'm basically uh, change the gravity uh, gravity um, force and like you can see now it's working and i added some some you know some some add values as well so that way i can have the, the ball that when it collides it gives me some some sound as well now what is going to happen is that you need to to add an audio streaming player let me see here an audio stream player and thanks to that one you can play your audio so basically to in order to get uh, the signal when it collides you need to to set the contact reports it needs to to report at least one contact with another object so basically um, that way you can have a signal if you don't change the number there it's not going to work and like you see this is all actually this is the what I've done until now and puzzles are going to come I'm going to you know I'm going to create a few puzzles and maybe we can make some puzzles together you can um, I don't know suggest ideas okay guys we are in in the end of the video if you made it this far please comment down I don't know slime <laughs> Comment down slime to, to let me know that you made it this far. I don't know if you like this kind of videos and where I really talk about every aspect and kind of comment every line of and every action I make on the game. This takes me a lot of time to kind of edit in, in, in the video in post. Basically, it's just kind of a waste of time because I have limited time. So I don't know if this might be interesting to be just watched during live streams because when I work, I work uh, when in my free time and basically it's always late here where I live. I live in Italy, so I don't know actually what time zone it, you are and, and et cetera. So I don't know actually how to make everything work. So if you want to watch me in a live stream please let me know down in the comments but if this kind of videos you like uh, you like this kind of videos instead i'll make my best to put out other vlogs this way so thank you for watching leave a like subscribe and more important keep making games